It's, uh, we want to uh, get you guys a couple of clips um, from the last match. Uh, most important is this, the discussion on build-up um, and the decisions in build-up, the quickness of play, one and two touch rhythm, moving for each other, getting open for your teammates when they need your help um, so as not to make it so easy to defend. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of defensive sh uh, shapes clips and uh there's a couple of th uh, some throw-ins that we should probably address um before our first matches coming up this weekend league matches uh so first clip is really the goalkeeper has the ball they're building they're they're um attacking on the punt and we want to make sure our shape is a little bit more collective um even though we win this first one we end up not having the ball so again making sure that we're, we're in good spots to be able to help out um, so that in the event uh, a center back or an outside back has to step in and help, um, we're there to be able to, you know, take control of the middle of the park. So you'll see once this happens here, that's an easy gap that's played, no pressure on the ball. Um, which is okay from a mid midfield uh, um, scenario, but there needs to be someone, an outside back or center back stepping in and then dropping in and covering so that the midfield can recover like they do here. Now think about how tight this space is between the three of you um, and, and how easy it is for them to get out. So again, this is just a two versus three, white versus the three blue midfielders. So if I just rewind it a little bit, covering and taking doing a little bit of half and half against this player sliding over here um, so that if we're beat on that one or they pass back um, Katie's able to step in or I, I think that's Katie um, but just to allow that to come out and now we have to recognize out wide that if this is the ball they play it's going to be a hard diagonal run to go and defend that cross and not allow them to get it off too easily. We have good numbers in the box, attacking the ball, and ultimately, you know, they, she gets an off-balance shot. But remember that all of that could have been avoided from the opponent's half, the opponent's defending half. Very similar here, loss of possession. What needs to happen here? Get connected, get connected to not allow it to be too easy. Good decision there to start dropping, but you can see the center, our center back here is way too far away and doesn't allow Maya to slide over as well and look at this giant gap in between, okay? So if she does, if Maya does come over to cover, we need to make sure that on the other side, um, that we're getting into a better spot to close the middle. And then obviously the, the right back's doing the same thing. Everybody here working their way back, working their way back. They don't score, but ultimately it's a tough situation for us. So now thinking about our buildup, reminder that when we build up, we're trying to advance the game from our 18 to the op opponent's 18. So if Amy's going to punt this ball, it's going to be very important that we recognize she's punting it. And Amy probably should give her and a goalkeepers give a chance to your team to be able to get up and in a bit. So we can get closer, get closer, get closer, and get closer so that in the event we do lose the first ball, we can have enough players there to regain the second. Unfortunately, she receives it. And now you can see how expansive we are in terms of how we're going to defend. So you might want to be able to play a, a shorter throw or get everybody up and in. Uh, but again, we have numbers inside our 18. But ultimately, we, we, we struggled to not get numbers around the ball on the punt. When we do play short, that's fine. What's next here? You know, Taylor recognizing that sh this is the gap right here where you can potentially receive the ball. You want to come in off the shape a little bit instead of asking the center back to do all of this work and get past this opponent right here. So right there's the situation where this little pocket right here is perfect for you to get on the ball, 
then your outside back can get forward and you can play her in. You can also play the switch. You can give it right back to the one of the center backs. But this reaction that we have here is tough because now we're defending right away. And that was pretty good there in terms of getting back and covering. Short ball. This is a one-touch bounce back because of the pressure that's coming back to you. And you can see that center back has time and space. Because if we lose the ball in that scenario, now everybody's sprinting back to defend. Unfortunately, goalkeeper picks it up. Again, if we're going to play long from, from inside our 18, we want to make sure that we have our outside backs, our midfield together, forwards coming back to help, center forward coming back to help so that we don't have to do this extra sprinting back. So and as the left back here, we've got to trust the center back to be able to defend. And then there's also a double team coming back. So this is more of a half and half. So you want to get in between you. You don't want to leave her and not cover her, but you have to be in between the two because ultimately you're leaving this space wide open for a player to get in and get the service off. Another ball from inside our 18. You can see how spread out we are. I won't put the arrows, but if you look at our collective shape, if we lose it, we're going to have to sprint to get back. And ultimately, not really a penalty, but she falls and they get the call. A couple throw-ins just to give you an idea of this scenario. Look at the numbers of players they have. Look at the number of players we have. All right, so for them, one, two, three, four, five. For us, one, two, three, four. So off the bat, they outnumber us on the throw in. So it's important for us to slide, slide, come down and help midfielders and make this really dense, create density here. So if they do gain possession of the ball, they're not able to get something easy off of it. Same thing here on a throw in, we're up in their half. So now it's, can we, can we play this one back? Can we play it back? Good. Now, can we take where the open space is and can we as a, a six drop into that space or can we find a center back if she's available to be able to get the ball from one side to the other? Again, that's kind of the idea of what we discussed yesterday and making sure we play quick one and two touch. Another throw in here, five of their players, three of our players, four if you count the thrower, they get it. So again, before we throw the ball in, let's get here, let's get here, let's get here, let's get a winger back, let's create some density here so it's not an easy possession regain for them on a throw. So I want to show you a high-level clip from Barca, um, Barca's women, <laughs> in terms of how they work for each other off the ball and think about their objective here is to uh, build out and possess to progress to get the ball into the opponent's half. You'll see players working for each other when, whenever there's pressure. You'll see their teammates open up for them. Whenever there's a little bit of space, they'll carry it in. But now that there's pressure, free pass pressure free pass and, and again there's movement for each other but there's also after you pass the ball what do you do after she passes this ball watch the center back drop back and then her first touch into open space and now the idea here is that they're making their opponent tired by running side to side center back carries it forward finds the open player and then opens up wide this is a center back right here coming wide to help this build out. And now they switch the ball again. And the opponent is now saying to themselves, this stinks. All of that to be able to break the line and to advance the ball into the opponent's half. Still support there. She's under pressure. She has support. 
And now, again, they've moved the opponent so many times that they're able to play in between the lines here. And I think what you'll appreciate or what I appreciate on this clip the most is on this loss of possession, watch how they try and get the ball back. And the reason it's easier for them to get the ball back is because of all the numbers they have together because they've been moving the ball together and you've never really seen a player take more than three touches on the ball. But there's a regain, three players on it, bump, they get the ball, and now transition to attack. And even though this doesn't work out and they lose possession, they still work to get it back and cause a throw in. So as a review, really just making sure that you guys are get, being available for each other in possession and creating good angles. But if you're going to play long out of the back, make sure that we're up and in and collective in the middle of the park or wherever we're hitting the ball. Hope this helps. See you soon.